What's happening guys? Caliber here. We're going to be doing a video on Dragalia Lost, some tips, tricks, some things you may need to know about the game. We're going to cover some of the daily aspects of life of this game, things you want to log in and make sure you do every day. So let's uh, let's just hop in here and check some of this stuff out. So right here where this emblem shield thingy is at, I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it looks like, like a shop sign maybe. Uh, you click on that, go to Upgrade Essentials, you'll have an item summon here. Once a day, you can do a free item summons uh, currently. So make sure you go in there, click on that. Then, then another thing you need to look out for, guys, is go to your castle. When you have your castle unlocked, go to the dragon's roost. Make sure you feed your dragons. A happy dragon um, gives you gifts back, okay? So go in here. As you can see, I'm already sold out. But you take these items, you click on them, you flick them at her, just flick them at her face, feed them. What will happen is you'll give them, this bar will go up, give, I, I guess it's like a trust bar or you know companionship bar or something like that. The higher it gets, the happier she is. Um, he, she, you end up with uh, getting more, uh, uh, you get some very important items. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to think of some of the items off the top of my head. But I've got some items that help me upgrade some of my castle stuff. Uh, just go in here. It's All it's going to do is cost you a little bit of gold. It's not that bad. Just feed it to her. She gives you items back because she's really, very, very happy with the food you gave her. All right. So the next step, we're going to go into events. So make sure when you go into events, um, you, you check all the, the current events you got going on. All right. So recurrent events. Right now we have Avenue of Power. Each time you do Avenue of Power, you'll unlock one of these chests up here. It doesn't matter which one of these Avenue of Powers you do. As long as you do one of them, you'll unlock one chest up here. You get a daily bonus of extra items. Take advantage of that. Make sure you get some of that. You can do this to Fortune. It also has two. It doesn't matter which one of these you run. You'll get a daily bonus out of it. Um, right now, Flame Hell Runes is up for uh, 13 hours. Uh, another two chests. You can run whichever one you want. And this one's a little bit different. This one's called uh, Dragon Trials. There's also an elemental one too that we had recently. But in Dragon Trials, um, as you can see, we have these three chests. You you can run uh, Mid Midgar Storm's uh, Trial, Mercury's, or Brunhilda's. One of each. And you'll unlock a chest. Boom, boom, boom. And then you'll be done with your three, three chests for the day. Or you can just run one of them. It doesn't matter. Uh, but you only get three chests um, for a dragon trial. It doesn't matter which dragon trial you run. But you're, you're, it's not like you can get, uh, what, what you got here? One, two, three, four, five. It's not like you can get 15 chests. You're, you're locked down to three chests. So make sure you hop in there and do that. And the same thing with uh, uh, the elemental uh, ruins, I believe. I'm not 100% on that, so don't quote me on that. But make sure you go in there and check that type of stuff out. Good stuff to know. Uh, another another handy thing in this game. Okay, guys, we're going to go over to Castle again. Castle Grounds. <clears throat> this, this is another good, uh, good thing to know. So your facility level up here is extremely important, guys. Extremely important. Uh, the higher your facility level is, the higher you can upgrade your castle. Uh, the higher you can upgrade your castle, uh, the higher you can upgrade like a building like my smithy uh, building right here. The smithy building allows me to craft weapons. Um, if I have level 4 smithing, I can craft the tier 2 weapon. I think it's tier 2 weapons. I can craft the next, next set of weapons up. And that's what I'm currently aiming for myself. So like go in here you hit level up it says I need the uh, halodome to level four I got all the regions for it. I just need the halodome to level four there's the halodome right there to do this I need facility level 100 so I'm locked out right now I can't get to it but that's okay um, so far currently it looks like you get one point per building uh, one facility level per building I could be wrong but I think that's what I've been seeing one point per building it may go up a little bit uh, but so far it looks like it's one um, and as you can see five hours on these ones one point for five hours here that's that's quite a bit these are my mines right here I'm building up uh, you can upgrade these the wind altars 
uh, shadow altar, water altar, um, the light altar, the flame altar. You can upgrade those. Uh, it'd probably be a good idea if I start upgrading those because some of those are low. Uh, they do take like each one of these has their own little th their own little poison they take. This one takes the the light orbs. Um, you know that's going to take shadow orbs. So use your regents wisely. Farm the events you need to to get your castle leveled up. Um, I know a good milestone in this game right now is hidden smithy level level four where you can go in here and do some upgrading. And you know, while we're talking about it, let's let's check out let's check out some upgrades. Um, all right, so in the upgrade screen, you have adventures, mana circles, weapons, crafting, worm prints, and dragons. Whole lot of stuff to cover here. But in crafting, since we're just talking about it, it right here, a knight's grace. It's a um, it's a four star sword, smithy level four. And as you can see, it's like almost three times strong. Uh, it's it's over 50% stronger, maybe like 65% stronger than the other knight. You know, Knight's Grace is 65% stronger than Knight's Sword. Um, just off the top of my head, I, that's what I'm seeing. Looks looks pretty good there. Um, but I can't do it until I have Smithy level 4, which means I have to have a facility level 100. So make sure you're upgrading that stuff. Uh, another thing I did not point out right away on this is you can have more Smithing Worms in the Castle Grounds. With the more smithing worms right up here, those are the guys that build on your buildings. I have four active. I have zero or four up here. You can add them by clicking on that little plus sign there, <clears throat> right next to them, and it casts uh, it costs worm right. I highly recommend you do four or five of them. It, it comes in handy. I really should be doing five right now, but I'm addicted to summoning. What can I say? I'm addicted to summoning, guys. All right. <laughs> Another thing, cool thing you can do with crafting is you can go in here, you can take an item, and I don't have any I can do right now, but you can take this item and upgrade it. So you can go from you know the tier one to tier two to tier three level of it. Uh, the crafting system in this is just absolutely insane. <clears throat> so it takes five of one item, one max level one, and five other. Okay, it takes one one item five items and you combine them into one that gives you the max level you need on that item then you level that item up then you can enhance it to the next level all right then you have to do that again you have to make five more of those previous items you just made put them together max out that weapon and make the same weapon you just made for you can combine that weapon into that weapon and as you can see it can add up um, just you know it's gonna take 25 it's going to take 25 of these to make one of these. Uh, not to mention all the level 1 regions you got to use. All right. To make one of these into one of those means you're going to need five of these. Five of these uh, uh, concold rods. <clears throat> so you're going to need to make more of these. Which means you need to craft yourself uh, before it was 25. We're gonna we're it's 125 now. So 125 of these to have enough <clears throat> to make five of these into one of these. But even though you have this one, you got to max level it, which means you can you got to combine four of the uh, four of these into one of these, meaning. You need a whole crap ton of these. Um, as you can see, it's it's a lot of a lot of messing with your equipment, combining them together. It just goes on and on. I know that was a little complex there. Uh, we will do a more in depth video later on on the crafting system, but I just kind of wanted to brush on that. Um, preferably, you want to do a staff that has the same element as your character, um, or a weapon that has the same element as your character. You get a little bit of bonuses from that, um, from what I understand. All right, so let's let's talk about some other things in here. You got adventures. You can click on the adventure. You can upgrade them. Go in there and upgrade them. You can use some some of your regents to upgrade them. Hit upgrade, level them up a little bit. Boom. Um, you can turn around. You can uh, 
you can do mana circles now mana circles this this is a whole uh, this is kind of like the uh uh the spear grid stuff um that they have in games like path of exile except it's a mana circle you go around this whole entire circle selecting every one of these abilities after you get them all after you get them all you click on the middle and you use your regents in the middle to get to go up to the next level so after i do that i would move up there and then i can start grabbing all these up and i mean some of these have like some regents in there like uh water worm um gliscales uh, i've been finding it really hard to get those you can click on how to acquire and it'll tell you the mercury trial of expert gives them uh that's actually where i've been picking them up uh, you need a power level of seven thousand to get there this this game just keeps on going and going it has a lot of little mid-tier stuff you know that it just keep it the, all the different systems that are going on in here it's it's pretty crazy it, i think this is what's going to make the game absolutely uh insane i've been enjoying this game a lot all right same thing with worm prints guys you can go in the worm print you can click on a worm print you can you can level it up with some of your upgrade materials or you can put other worm prints in there uh currently currently i'm uh from what i'm understanding is you should be selling your two star uh, worm prints for uh, um, Eldwater because apparently Eldwater is a pretty weird, rare commodity in this game right now. Uh, we will see. Um, also, if you want to level up your items in here, it's the same system as leveling up uh, your weapons. So, what you want to do is you want to go into Unbind. Uh, let's use this for example right here. You can turn around, and click on this. And this is, the, this is the same way with the weapon things, like I was telling you guys. You can go in here, click on bind, click on, the, click on the item, and you take four of these. Now, if you see right here on the top screen here, um, there's a uh, diamond thing going on. Each diamond, it's level 10 right now, each diamond adds levels to it. So you turn around, here, here we'll do one at a time. So this is going to take the star, uh, harp up from level cap from 10 to 15. Let's add one more in there. This is going to take the level cap from 10 to 20. All right. Add one more in there. This is going to take the level cap from 10 to 25. Add one more in there. Level cap from 10 to 30. And then you hit unbind and boom. Now you can level this up to 30. Um, like I said, the system just keeps on going and going. Like there's, there's a lot of things going on in this game to keep up with. Uh, very, very cool. Um, yeah. Uh, that's just kind of touching the basis on the game uh, a quick overview on tips and tricks you may need to know on the game if I'm not mistaken too I believe there's also a free single summon you can do a day not a hundred percent but I think there's a free single summon you can do a day too <coughs> make sure you're checking that out um, yeah I think that about covers it guys um if you guys like this video uh like and subscribe follow me on my social media right over there um check me out on um uh, check me out on twitch i'll be streaming this game i stream final fantasy brave x yes and then this game uh really been enjoying this game i i can see myself playing this game for a while i'm kind of curious how the power creep is going to work in this game there's a, there's a lot of little systems going on that i'm just absolutely loving so uh yeah Catch you guys later. Have a good one.